Hello, welcome to my new tutorial series about uh, writing big data processing pipelines using Apache Beams. So, <coughs> my goal here is to help you get started with um, with Apache Beam, and um, for this series, I basically um, uh, plan to introduce you to some of the concepts behind uh, Beam. Uh, for example, pipelines, P collection. We'll get through all these basic concepts that you need to know. Then we'll uh, walk through a simple example that uh, we'll write a pipeline that counts. What basically it's a word count example that you would do in any big data um, libraries. So this is basically the hello world of big data processing. Uh, so basically, what we'll be doing is uh, reading a text file, then counting how many times each word occurred like uh, basically counting the words so after that we'll <coughs> have a feel of um, we'll get to know how the project is structured what dependencies we need uh, so we'll, we'll have some understanding of uh, writing the pipelines and running um, the pipeline then then the next step would be to define um, a little bit more interesting um, task rather than simple word count. Uh, so basically I've thought of um, <coughs> processing tweets using Apache Beam. I'm not sure what exactly we will process. I mean, but yeah, we'll get to that. So basically we'll be um, doing this batch processing. So one thing to note that is Beam supports both batch and streaming. So uh, at least for these uh, sections that I planned for this series, I'll only focus on batch. So after as soon as these uh, topics are finished, then I'll um, uh, make some new videos with uh, showing how to uh, use stream, uh, how to develop streaming data processing pipelines. But for this, yeah, uh, we'll just focus on the batch processing. It's 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 a mm, bit more easier than the complica uh, complications of streaming data pipelines. So we'll use the tweets and do something with it. I don't know what, but we'll do something. Then. Uh, in order to write a beam pipeline, we need to know uh, some basic stuff. So, uh, like this p collection, p transform. So, um, we'll explore in more detail about what are these, what are p collections, what are p transforms, how do we um, uh, read and write the data into different um, sources. For example, how do we read data from files? or how do we write data to files or to some relational database like uh, Postgres or MySQL. And we'll also explore other um, other mediums, for example, MongoDB or mm, Bigtable or something. And uh, then finally, I'll show you how you can deploy your pipelines uh, into uh, your cluster. For example, uh, in Apache Flink or Google Cloud Dataflow, uh, so that you can run your pipelines to process massive data set using uh, in a distributed fashion. So, so this is the overall idea, and hope you'll stick around. See you in the next video. Thanks.